Oh, Fwet, okay. Thank you, Phantom, for the update. Uh, Fwet had to fight Palka for ninth. Uh, Palka going down the Hawk earlier, uh, excuse me, Blitzwiege earlier. Uh, Fwet taking a ninth, but he will be attending other weeklies uh, throughout this week as well. This, this will not be his only one, so you'll be seeing him. And of course, you'll be seeing him over at Shine. Right now, we'll be seeing two other competitors coming up at Shine. Excuse me, Hawk's not going to be there. What? Um, I forgot. Hawk's not going. What? I'm actually sad about that. I wanted to see how he would do. Either way, playing a bit into Pelka Pit. Pelka, now that he's finally getting the snake, finally able to see the way he moves, the way he dances, but be closely. Yeah. Immediately, just setting up his traps. And a great bait with the dash attack, even though he had the grenade laid it down there. Uh, a bit too greedy, just right into that. Okay. Yeah, we you know we saw the aggressive play from Pelka in the last game, where he had to approach and had to put on like as much damage as possible. In this matchup, not so much. Like setting up, setting up your house, setting up the traps, and forcing Hawk to approach, regardless of the fact that you have that laser, he's taking so much more damage in exchange. Great option coverage here from Pelka. I love everything about what he just did. That is. Poss oh, he oh, landed on the other gosh. side. If he landed directly in front of him, that probably would have been it. That forward smash is so strong. And that mixed up with the up, up B, as always, with both snakes. Not going to actually finish things off, but it gave, it gave him a space. And mm -hmm. that's honestly just what he needs. He's still on his third stock. Even these laters, he's, he's just often trade the grenade. Took yeah. some of them in a great mix-up to get that dash attack. Now his shot's getting a bit closer to that ledge, but Hawk gonna take full advantage of it. One of the scariest characters in this game to play against is a snake with a stock lead, because snakes already want to trade with you, and it no trade necessary there. The only one who's getting anything positive here is the Nikita. But when you have to constantly trade with Snake, and Snake has to stock up, it's not beneficial for Snake. They're getting you two kill percent and getting exactly what they want with every single trade they're getting. Yeah, now, like, you kind of just have to play a bit more committal at times versus Snake. And because of that, they just love it. They're going to be like, oh, word, like, you're, you're down to trade with me, Mr. Heavy? Jeez. You know what? I think that Game & Watch that you were talking about before, hey, I think it's coming out game number two. Um, I, It's at best of three, and this match has just been all Pelka's favor in every way, shape, or form. Like, there's... I think that Blitz match actually did him some good. It, it, just, it just maybe upset him. Sometimes people, when you play angry, you're, you're kind of, you're like, you know what, this is not what I'm supposed oh, to do. Oh, yeah, no, I definitely set him for sure. Like, he didn't even look happy about the match at the end of being done with it. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's it's a mentality thing. Like, all right, I'm going to make sure that I get back. Because for Pelka, nothing less than first is worth it for him. And the same with Hawk, too. Like, all these competitors, you want to win. That's 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 the end game. There's no, there's nothing else beyond that. So the fact that Pelka is Ooh. playing as immaculate as he, as he is right now, like, it's just a testament to that kind of that kind of hunger mm -hmm. that we need to be seeing. And all you gotta go for a jab one mix up there. Look at uh, I I love jab one mix ups. I mi I miss how good they used to be. Oh my word! Just, just waiting. Saw how you just mess around with that Nikita, and uh, most of the stuff is just visual. You just really have to pay attention to every. And it just takes those small mistakes. Even with the big lead that he had, mm -hmm. he's always set enough for them. It's not really like when you got 20 grenades and like just it, 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 you haven't been able to get a hit for the past minute, you fall asleep on where that C4 positioning is. Like that yeah, happens yeah, a lot. So I 100% expect the the game to watch, especially after putting it out. And uh, I completely forgot that he used it prior on Falco. Didn't he get a win against Falco with it too? I'm not gonna say I do, no. But I'm pretty sure. Way, it was at least um, close. I'm pretty sure he did. I can't remember 100. Uh, percent Somebody will confirm it for us in the chat, of course. I pre uh, and thank you again for all 57 of you watching right now, or on the other stream outlets too. I know that we have like 20 of them going on right now. Uh, for all of you on Mixer, for all of you on Twitch, for all of you on Periscope, Twitter, and all that, I love you and I appreciate you. Thank you so much for actually watching and uh, tuning in every single week. This is number 35. Who's the semis? Yeah. Hawk currently in a character crisis. Yeah, that is no longer. Alive, right? 35.
And just like that, we're going to uh, Game of Watch. Just you have expected. no idea how much I'm going to hate you during uh, uh, two, uh, 2020. 2020? That's like, my year, baby. I'm quite literally just going to put you on an IRL mute because <laughs> <laughs> because of how many <laughs> hindsight hate. jokes you're going to make. I'm not going to make them. Everyone's going to make them about me. And just like the cheese in my <laughs> commentary, we're seeing that cheese tag of this Game of Watch is coming through <laughs> really hard. The up out of shield now working. Yeah, you already see Polka baiting him out with the up out of shield, like just putting the grenade in place. Yeah, and being able to punish that great move is so hard. It, it definitely is. I mean, we saw Light having trouble with it in the past for Meister, especially at Smash and Splash, but now... Okay, confirmed. It is only taking games, but not a set. Thank you, Bad Nick. I always appreciate when you come in and you give us the notes. That fair. Gonna work through. Palka, actually, he's playing this game a bit different. Really okay with his close range. Is not really wanting to concern himself with, with doing that. And as someone... Who loves playing against Snake? You know, what I just thought about just like sorry to cut you off. I just popped in my head at Smash and Splash. No, I see you now. Smash, Smash, Smash. Gone. Pelka and Meister did team, yeah. and Pelka and Meister were previously on the same team together as well uh, with Sanai for a while. And Pelka he probably got a good amount of matchup practice against Meister while he was over there. He probably played him quite a bit. So I wonder if he's got a better insight to how this matchup works. Even that they're not going to finish just yet. Hawk opting out for another. Not really going to work. That chair, not going to work. This ain't WWE. That's oh, I mean, usually uh, that, that, that's the end-all, be-all. Get the chair in there and call it a day. Exactly. Well, that f is so strong, and the turtle also a strong option, too, lingering. Trying to get some explosive charges from the grenades, but Elk is kind of beating him out on it. Like, he sees the down B getting ready to happen, and he puts out... Um, Hey, he just puts out a dash attack when he knows it's going to happen. But finally, first point on the board for uh, for Hawk. I mean, these, this grenade game is actually just just another. I mean, as you're playing Snake, you're used to trying to create these mini games. It definitely ain't going to be a stranger to playing it. Mm -hmm. Something Ooh. also, like, you always have to, in the back of your mind, as Pelka, respect the fact that judgment is a thing. Like, if he gets caught slipping and he takes it down here, oh, or he could just uh, watch. That's the 119 does it's you like, don't. It's because he's not going to shine. That's all I'm saying. Yep. Also, I, I just realized because Hawk is playing with the, the cheese tag tape. Uh, oh, what? there's a judgment. There's a judgment. It's like I see into the future, folks. <laughs> uh, so the cheese is real. The cheese is online. Uh, so I, I was going to say, doesn't Game of Watch look like a character that belongs in Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends? Yeah, you know, I can see that, especially. Yeah, for sure. I mean, cheese is a character. Yes, that's why that's yeah, that's why I was re referencing that the tag that he has on. All of a sudden, by the way, after this the judgment, it seems like the Hawk has remembered how to play, and Pelka is currently having a hard time going about it because he's yeah, up here. Like, I feel like there's a direction going on in Pelka's stick, and that's the tilt. We're seeing it right now. Hawk just trying to <laughs> spam these up smashes. He don't he don't really care about nothing right now. We're gonna see him just trying to force Pelka to spam a bit on safety and oh my god. All it took was 1-9. Look, man, all I'm saying is I have the script. I have the script. I didn't want to let it go. This is what happens, man. <laughs> well, then, so what a game changer that was. All you need is just that one momentum-stealing moment. And then after he got his jump, it was like Pelko kept trying to up his way out of there. Up there, though, just following him up the whole time. Like, where are you going, baby? Where are you one going? Those, one of those things, uh, especially with characters who are able to kill extremely kind of crazy ways I and mean, we're gonna see a lot more especially with hero um it's it's obviously a big momentum for it but it just gets in your head and you yep. really have to keep it calm and collected otherwise the momentum just completely shift i am a very big agreer of the fact that i need to stop yawning my goodness um i'm a big agreer of going to fd here for pelka uh we saw what happened with those tri -flats. he just could not touch the ground like there's he could not get back down to the ground so having more uh, more room to escape, more room to set up these grenade traps, and having Hawk have to approach linear, like, it, it, I think it's going to work a lot better for him in this game, number three. Exactly. This, again, being the last game, we're going to have to extremely watch out, and it's definitely working in the favor of Pelka. Yeah, um, Pelka looking so much cleaner in the second game here. Uh, excuse me, third game. Uh, we kind of forget about that first game because the first game was kind of a body bag. But Big uh, Hawk just, uh, I, I'm really liking this change to the Game Watch. Like, the Game Watch is really working well for him. He was already anticipating the C4 with the bucket, uh, thinking that Pelko's going to shoot it out. Cost him, though. 
Yeah, I mean, something that happens, you can't really keep it in, force in your mind too much, otherwise it will get to you. It takes look for that kind of stuff. Again, it's just yeah. part of that game they play. Exactly, oh. that's, a, that's the name of the game. Like, just bait and punish is a huge thing that snakes go for. Uh, or you could just completely turn it up and just tackle the hell out of the man. This is reminiscent to what we saw in the very beginning of game two. Yeah. Puka changing his play style, knowing it's game and watch, he's not gonna really have to worry about playing through his grenades. Just like, we're gonna play the aggressive game here, I'm just gonna mix things up. You do have out of shield options, but... Oh, he might be dead. Ooh. Oh no, he's out of jump, okay. Interesting choice, I figured that he would have dropped down to try and go for a nair to catch uh, the linger of the air dodge, because he definitely has plenty of active frames to call uh, to get it, but not feeling confident enough in it in that moment. I'm trying to read the Tekken. Look at that roll with the nade that Puck and Pelco took. That chair gonna finish it this time. Bring in the people's chair to interrupt. Maybe get a special guest referee. Oh, oh I like cute. it. That was cute. I, I, I very much like what he went for there to end it. You know what? That's... You know, actually, this character's cheating. I just realized on FD, you could barely freaking see this character in the background. Let's ban yeah, Hawk. Yeah. Ban Let's him. Ban Hawk. Turtle coming out. Franklin, the good old pal, doing a bit of his work. Getting Pelt there. At 64%, evening up this. Even though the up air did not do any uh, knockback, that damage is all Hawk is honestly looking for. He's not really trying to kill Exactly. It's just it's just slow gameplay. Like, as long as I'm getting my damage where I can, like, after the Cypher goes out, like, where do, where do you go? Like, you can keep going back up there, but I'm going to chase you down. There we go. Good call out of the jump off the ledge. Now we're seeing Nikita in play. A big, yeah, big fix-up situation. Yeah, trying to catch him retreating the ledge. Both these characters would get dash attacks. Where's that? Uh, I'm curious if we're ever going to see just uh, Hawk upbeat into him while he's in there. Oh, like Hawk. that's something that, that needs to happen. That was super unfortunate for Hawk. He had the right call two times in a row. He just mistimed it uh, just a little bit. Again, missing it. Where Pelka had to land. Yeah, Pel yeah for Pelka too. Like, I, I think we're gonna not be seeing nearly as many grenade setups as before. Yeah, it, he's already he, he is already putting on the the like the actual action of uh, pressure. He's, yeah, he's trying to put out these dash attacks, that uh, the back airs. Because he doesn't want, for one, the charges to happen, but for two, he's just trying to throw off this pace that Hel Hawk has is the F tilt. Yeah, that shield pressure was uh, definitely pretty crazy. That terrible roll game of watch actually going to work out. No total coming through. And now we're seeing, we're seeing way more of that back backer game you were talking about. But as soon as he's in the air, like it's hard for Belgium yeah. to land. It's huge, for the f it's huge for Hawk right now, too, because yeah, because Grenade's not being online, and I, I don't remember how many charges of Bucket he has right now after that, that one that he got from the grenade off the stage. But the moment Bucket splash go, oh! He just reflected it. He, he oh, okay, it didn't go in, but you saw, what was that, like two or three charges in that? Yeah. Yeah, so that's why these grenades have stopped. Like, it's just very important for Pelka right now. And one of those fool me once, fool me twice things. Pelka understanding third time is going to be the last. He can't really afford it right now. Oh, there we go. Calls out the jump finally with the up tilt, and that's going to close it out. Great call out, for sure. Uh, wow. Hawk, a bit disheartened as he's even Helka. I mean, I, I, I know he's disappointed, but honestly, I wouldn't be so disappointed in that match because, like, he played, he was playing it so well. He like, he played it, he's playing it perfectly.